Searching for new biomakers starts with in vitro work, using cell culture investigation of potential biomakers. Cell culture is one of the major tools used in cellular and molecular biology, providing excellent model systems for studying the normal physiology and biochemistry of cells, as well as the effects of different drugs on them. It is also used in drug screening and development, and large-scale manufacturing of biological compounds, such as vaccines and therapeutic proteins. The major advantage of using cell culture for any of these applications is the consistency and reproducibility of results that can be obtained from using a batch of cells. Here, we are going to show you all the culture procedure and the whole evaluation of biomarker process done in digital pathology. The cell culture procedure is done in a hood of biosafety cabinet that provides an antiseptic work area. We use the safe flow hood. First, we take with the pipettes two different types of cells from the liquid nitrogen tank or crystal storage container where normally the cells are kept. These cells are human breast cancer cells and mouse breast cancer cells purchased from ATTC company. They are introduced in the small tubes from the blue rack. Culture conditions vary widely for each cell type. That is the artificial environment in which the cells are cultured called medium. The medium, which is a liquid of a reddish and yellowish colour, supplies the essential nutrients, that is, amino acids, carbohydrates, vitamins and minerals, as well as, as growth factors and hormones. Thus, the bottle with the yellowish medium is filled with MDA MB231 cells, known as human breast adenocarcinoma cell line, with the bottle with the reddish medium is filled with 4T1 cells, known as mouse breast cell line. Cells from those small tubes were transferred into 15 milliliter tubes to be able to centrifuge them at 1000 revolutions per minute for about 5 minutes. Afterwards, the cells are collected at the bottom of the tube and transfer them into flasks. Like these bottles with an orange cap, which are cell culture vessels. For example, they may be flasks, petri dishes, roller bottles or multi-well plates. Once the cell culture is transferred to bottles, we must shake well to have a uniform and even distribution. It is also often to make an annotations on top of the flasks to avoid mistakes and include some information such as type of cells, date, name of the research fellow, etc. etc. Then the cells are visualised with the inverted microscope. Here we can see an orange plastic glass that is used for eye protection in the case of using fluorescence lamp. After visualisation, the cells, the flasks with the cells, are placed into the incubator at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% CO2. This is done to create an appropriate condition as in living organisms. They are kept in the incubator until they are sufficient for the planned experiments like 3D culture, animal injection, etc. etc. Breast tumoral cells are injected into mice to induce primary tumours and mystices. Animals are sacrificed and organs are collected for metastases investigations. Biomakers are assessed in paraffin embedded primary tumour and organ samples so that to reveal the implication of biomakers in different steps of cancer development. Thus, we follow all the process for histological tissue sample preparation. After the fixation and the embedding steps, the next step is sectioning, that is, we must cut thin slices of the samples in the microtome. The sections are usually about 3 or 4 microns thick. Finally, we obtain the slides with the paraffin embedded specimens after they were sectioned, dried at 37 degrees Celsius overnight, plus 2 hours at 60 degrees Celsius and cooling at room temperature. These slides will go through staining, cover slipping, sealing and mounting. For the staining process, we are using immunohistochemistry, or IHC. IHC refers to the process of detecting antigens like proteins in cells of a tissue section by exploiting the principle of antibodies binding specifically to antigens in tissues. IHC staining is widely used in the diagnosis of abnormal cells such as those found in cancerous tumours. 
Specific molecular markers are characteristics of particular cellular events such as proliferation or cell death. IHC are then scanned, that is, the slides are digitised with slide scanners or robotic microscopes. Once we have the digital image, different processing techniques are applied to analyse the tissue samples and characterise specific features of interest depending on the type of tissues, such as morphology, texture, stain density, etc. etc. Biomarkers of interest will go next in upper investigation level, in vivo.